Need for Speed Heat is back. We're getting so close to the full release of the game. Cannot wait. And this is a 370 Heritage Edition build. The Heritage means the stripe. Is that it? I don't actually know. I personally own the, the 350. Had it for a number of years now. Love the castle bits. But let's do a build on this. It only had 4 out of 10 customization, which oh, did surprise me quite a bit. I mean, that's not much, is it? I, I was expecting maybe 8 out of 10, 9 out of 10 customization. Basically, the higher the number, the more parts you can change on the car. Yeah, hood. Only one change you can make. I'm disappointed. <laughs> I want more options. Loads more. So, this is quite an interesting video because I end up going back and changing a little bit because I'm not happy with the first build. Also, we do some drift. Drift events, drift gameplay is in this video. Oh, yes. Uh, this is pretty much going to be my last video before the launch of the game, unless I magically find more customization that we can show off. But yeah, this is my last build. I know. It's been, it's been fun. Of course, when the full game comes out, I'll be covering the game a lot. This week in general, there's a lot of games coming out. A lot of videos coming out. Be excited. It's going to be a really good couple of weeks. I'm so excited for Need for Speed to come out officially. Have it in my hands at home. Cannot wait. Oh, yes. Yeah, I would like... I mean, even that wing mirror, that's in the wrong position, surely. Isn't it? <laughs> Am I being stupid? I don't know. I guess you get a slightly better view. If you're the driver, maybe? I, I don't know. I really don't know. But yeah, the 317 deserves more parts. And you go up to trim, which is just above the side skirts. Takes away that stripe, basically. That's all it does. Yep. <laughs> I have to pay to get rid of the stripe. What? I could do that myself. It'd be so easy. I'm guessing it's just a vinyl. I don't think it's painted on. That's a random addiction. Actually quite like this yellow. I end up going for like a sort of dark grey. That's because that's what my colour car is. Which I like in the real world. But in game it looks a little bit... Yeah. Blah. Is that, is that a good word? Blah. A bit. Hmm. Yeah, this is the, end, the thing I, I end up changing most is the, the rear bumper. I change it later on in the video. So let me know what you prefer. This build, the first build... Or the second build. I'm intrigued. Very intrigued. There's a lot of spoilers, of course. Uh, just no hoods. Not many bumpers, really. Fenders. There could be a lot more for this car. A lot more. In my opinion. In my opinion. So I believe this was the first car I picked in the second session. Because I wanted to do a build on this so badly. So you change the background. I believe there is, if you played the previous games... Uh, there's like rewards for playing those games so you have more banners for the license plate. Yeah, I just change it to Riot. Of course I do. Uh, exhaust, you can change it. I decide to keep it the same. It looks pretty... I quite like the free exhaust. It looks pretty cool. A little bit unique, especially for a 370. Yeah. I'm guessing the 350 has slightly more options. The Rocket Bunny kit, for example. I just, I wanted more, more parts. Obviously it looks a lot better when it's lowered. And we do add a air suspension to the car. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Can't wait. Yeah, so this is where I go for my sort of gray color, gray silver color. I'm sure there's a correct terminology for it, but I can think of it, so <laughs> we, we move on. It's a colour you probably won't see much in Deep Speed. Grey, quite bland, I guess. We're going to go for the Nismo rims, which I always like. I've got a soft spot for these. Maybe that's a bit a bit too big. Yes, ra rim, rams? Uh, rims can be potentially too big from time to time. So just bring it down just a little bit. Make it a little bit more tasteful. I mean, the stock rims look pretty good, but... Can't beat this nose in this my ring. Again, why does it do that? Why does it change the size automatically down to a small size? Annoying, some would say. So that is the car pretty much done. 
Uh, I, do end up, I do end up changing it a little bit. We're going to add some more cosmetics. So, neon lights, underglows, air suspension, tyre smoke are all going to be on this car. I eventually take those off because I thought the blue smoke was just a bit a bit much. I, I didn't like it. I like the standard smoke. Oh, yes. Oh, look at this. That is so low. So, so low. There's actually not many horns in this game. I know. Blasphemy. Beauty. I must admit, I love the V6. I love the V6 or the 370. Obviously, this engine is the engine they put into the GTR and then add twin turbos into the GTR. So it's a very good engine. Very good engine indeed. I love it. Sounds good. Enough power for me personally. Yeah, I like it. Oi, look it. Is there something I'm going to change? Oh, the headlights. Yeah, I think purple looks a bit. a bit weird. Maybe you can tint them black. Maybe yellow could work. I don't know. So it's a hard colour. It's grey. I think my colour personally is probably a little bit lighter. Probably. A little bit. Let's add a crankshaft. So currently we've got, we've got a pro one, but we can't upgrade it to a super. Doesn't do a whole lot, just a tiny bit more tie in speed and acceleration goes up just by just a tiny bit. Very tiny little notch. Very tiny notch. We're going to strap on a turbo. As we know, this engine can definitely take a turbo. Twin turbos, ideally. But that's, that's another car. And we're going for more of a... More of a drift build on this, as you guys will see. Very valid soon. Drift, baby, set up. I'm not sure, maybe I was going for... Yeah, so this first build, I was going for more of like a racy setup, and then eventually the gameplay you see alongside the, the other variants of the 370 is the drift build. So I'm, I'm making it more of a, a beefy track road build at the moment but eventually that does change hope that makes sense so we're trying to get in again that bottom left hand corner of the little uh, handling hud differential differential plays a big part in where that little dot goes how your car does handle see how much that move just from the the track differential that dot Move the lot. Put some more NOS in. Put two two smaller tanks in as well. So we can use one and then deploy the second one. Slightly better ECU. The car's gone up 100%. It's definitely a quicker car. No doubt about that. that cool in. All these parts cost a lot though. Anything around the engine costs a lot of money. Two. Four, seven. This car is gonna move. <laughs> really gonna move. So that's it with the, the the blue neon lights. This is the the first build we did. Some of you guys might have seen this gameplay a little bit already, but the gameplay I'm about to show you, the drifting, has never been shown before. So uh, be excited. I'm not sure about the blue smoke. It's not for me. It really isn't. Haram silly. Miami silly. The best silly in all the world. I cannot wait to get this game on PC, sit in my room, and start recording for you guys. I can't wait. Cannot wait. It's gonna be a good time. Real good time. Excuse me. Come for it. Let me find a flamingo here. Yep, there it is. Boom! Smash right into it. <laughs> flamingo! collectible so this is where i'm like i'm not happy with that build i'm gonna alter it a little bit it's more the front bumper area and the rear bumper it's just i don't know i'm not sure take the splitter off so sometimes obviously the parts clash there's some really nice front bumpers but 
don't know. I think that looks that looks better. The Speed Hunter front bumper doesn't quite fit that nicely with the fender. I guess oh, it looks okay. It looks alright. I changed anyway. It's definitely a, a different looking car for sure. Go for more of a Speed Hunter's vibe. Oh yeah. Let's stick with the uh, the wide fenders. So yeah, let me know what do you guys prefer, this build or the first build. I'm still not really sure, to be honest. I think I slightly ruined this build because I changed the exhausts. I don't know why I changed the exhaust. The stock exhausts work pretty well, and I should have changed it. But there we go. What is done is done, I guess. That rear is looking good. That is a humongous spoiler. You can go even bigger as well. Which is just madness. Absolutely mad. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about it. It's a, it's, maybe this is just a hard car to get right. To get spot on. Because I'm picky because I almost own this car. Maybe. I don't know why I go for these exhausts. The, the stock ones are perfect. Absolutely perfect for the car, the, the, the rear bumper. There we go. I change it. I can't change it now. What is done is done. <laughs> There's nothing I can do. And do I, I think I made the car slightly lighter in color. Yeah, I think something like a yellow could look quite nice, as we've seen already. Go absolutely as bright as you want. You can go into the promo, which gives you slightly more alterations for the colors. You can do whatever you want. So, there we go. That's my second alternative 370 build. I like how low it is, though. So low. Oh, and we put some um, beast BBS tires on. BBS. Or rims, even. That's what I mean. Yeah, thanks for, thanks for changing the size. Cheers. When the room is really small, the need for speed text is massive. It's far too big. <laughs> Humongous. Can't be having that. Also got to match the rears with the front. Again, I'd love a copy and paste option here. Been asking for this since 2015. Nope. It must be difficult in some way. I don't know why, but... Must be a reason for it. I'd like the option to still change the rears or the fronts to make them different, but a quick copy and paste option would be delightful. So this car is now set up for drift, and you guys are going to see me drift for pretty much the first time ever in Need for Speed Heat. So it might not be perfect. Hmm. Yeah, taking away some of that raw. A bit more of a, a bit of a bit, a bit more of a natural tone to it, I guess. Not as much fireworks and pops. Oh yeah! Looking good. Love it. Do this. Yeah, my first ever drift event. It works a bit differently. Drift in this game. It's all about. Going off the power, on the power, and I did find it quite hard to manage, and this is quite a, a tight course, not a whole lot of space. So it can get quite tricky. Oh, oh, there we go. So we're trying to hit... Yeah, that, that happened. <laughs> it is difficult, it is difficult. You've really got to try and manage it. I think my my last lap, I really I get a lot better, and I start to sort of work out the flow of how things work. The start was a bit just locking up there. I, I was trying, you see the wheel turning left, but I was locking up and going straight. That's something I got to try and work on, I guess. I've heard a few people complain about that though, so maybe it's uh, an issue. 
Or maybe it's just too much power. Happened again, a little bit there. I don't think it happened as much in my my final lap. So maybe I'm just putting down a little bit too much power. And it's just like locking up, basically. I cannot alter my direction. Yeah, this is uh, an example of a drift event. Sweet. Sweet. It's really weird. There's, there's drag tires in the customization, but I've not seen any drag events yet. So I don't know how that's going to work. Here. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. Damn near as perfect. As you're gonna get. perfect. Uh, we're almost at the target, and we're about halfway through here. Starting to get in some more of a rhythm. Okay, be honest. You've been practicing like a lot. I not really, <laughs> honestly. Yes, starting to get into a nice little Time rhythm now. Starting to look a little bit better. I'm not smacking into every bit of terrain sight. Happened a little bit there. I don't know if I just put. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what happened. But we have smashed the target already. You can see the multiplier there going up. <laughs> Where am I going now? No! It all went downhill. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. That's a stop right there. Text yeah, it's a, it's a very different experience, and it's something I'm going to have to sort of really knuckle down, practice and practice and practice until I get it right. Get that car set up perfect as well. Well, there's, a, there's a perfect handle in, in there somewhere. But the drifting is definitely different. Do I like it? I'm not sure yet, honestly. Grip is definitely better, but drift I'm not not 100% sure about yet. If I'm being completely honest. But that, guys, is the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the 370 and a little bit of drifting. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like on this video, and bye-bye.